Blakey, Blakey, yeah? who are you putting on to drive these little villains? God, you guess. It's making my day just thinking about it. He's not only got to drive it, he's got to help to organise it as well. <laughs> oh, this is enough sandwiches now, isn't it, Mum? What do you want to get yourself lumbered with this lot for? Well, it's our turn this year. We've got to do something nice for the little kiddies. I bet you don't even know why you're taking the little darlings. Well, I'll tell you what, if they're eating any of Olive's cakes, it'll be straight to the hospital. <laughs> Shut up. Now she'll have to eat it now you've touched it. <laughs> now, that's not the way to start a lovely day. Oh, a lovely day? I've got to be out, you know, by... Le here, look at the time. I'm due out at 11. Come on, let's pack up and let's get going. Well, we Come on. can't yet because we haven't blown the balloons up. Come on, blow oh. some balloons up, dear. Oh, no. that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blow it up. I shouldn't think you can. You've bumped the hole up with cake, haven't you? <laughs> it's not that. It's one of those, those thick ones. If you're so clever, you try it. I am not putting that in my mouth after you've been sucking it. <laughs> oh, come off it, Arthur. You've been married for nine years. I mean, what she's got, you've got by now. <laughs> it, it is unhygienic. It needs disinfecting. Oh, well, dummy, it's a daft. What about when you kiss Olive? He makes a gargle with carbolic first. <laughs> Here's a new one. Try that. All right, all right. It's very simple. The trick is to get started. Well, that's not your strong point. <laughs> Be careful. You don't want to strain yourself. No, you might need another operation. Will you shut up about my operation? Let someone else do it. I don't know what's wrong with you lot. Look, these, just because they're new balloons, you don't know how to do it. You've got to stretch them like that first. Yes. Because they're new. Oh, then you it? warm them in your hand like that. You see? Oh, I've seen a bloke right. on telly do it. And oh, then they go up it. as easy as anything. Right, now watch this then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, surely it's gone up a bit, hasn't it? It has not. Where's all the air going? I hate to tell you, mate, but you're growing an ump. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Shut your face. I'll do it again. I nearly got it when then. Yes. <sighs> oh. 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 Well, oh, I got it started. It's lovely. Oh, blimey, I've gone giddy. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, what you have yeah. to do, look, you press it down into the squiggly bit at yes, the bottom there, yeah. and all the way down the balloon... No, down the bottom like that, and then you... Yeah, I'll squeeze and you blow. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you stupid dick! You squeeze it just as I was going to suck! <laughs> Pull it all the air! Oh. Never mind, mate. <laughs> Uh, that's just like when you was little, bringing up Wendy's. It's not funny, Mum. No, it didn't have hurt. I know, it happened to me once at a birthday party. I put a balloon in my mouth and I got all filled up with air. Oh. Most of it's still there. <laughs> all this fuss about blowing up a few balloons. Well, it's these squiggly ones here difficult. The ordinary ones, it's better. Look, I'll show you. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, well, 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 well. Well, now you tie a knot in the end of that one and I'll blow up oh, another one. Another one, that's right. <sighs> easy, easy. I can't do it, it keeps slipping. It's easy, look. You pull the neck out like that, right? Round two fingers, pull it out like that, and then you put the, the little... Oh, bit give on. it here, it's perfectly simple. Look, look. <laughs> oh, Arthur, you did give me a surprise. I bet you don't do that very often. <laughs> Sit down and have a rest, then. Oh. oh, but don't stand there smoking yourself to death. I'm late as it is. Come and blow oh. some of these balloons up. Who's Butler then? Isn't it marvellous? He's never here on time, is he? He'll be here in a minute. He's just helping his mum with the grub and stuff. Oh, here he comes now, look. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's Mary Poppins. <laughs> Start. We've been flying across the roof, have you? <laughs> you don't work, mate. You're later than ever. Now, listen, we don't want any trouble on this out. The last kids out, and they did £50 pounds worth of damage. Well, that's what I've got the balloons for. I'll keep them occupied. Well, now you are. You can let them on the bus. I made them form a queue outside there. Go oh, look at that. One of the little pennies has jumped the queue. He's digging my bell and all. Liberty taker. He looks a right shifty-eyed little lout. 
It happens to be my little nephew. <laughs> yeah, mind you, he's got a nice, intelligent little face. Oh, well, I let him on the bus because he happens to be a sensitive little chap. He takes after me, actually. Yes, uh, I want you to keep an eye on him, if you will. Let him on the bus, then. Come on. Yep. All right, Charlie, out of the cage. Right, come on. on, you can get your <laughs> Chaps, aren't they? <laughs> I thought you two could manage them all right. <laughs> what did you do, Shabby Jack? Me? I did my best, didn't I? I'll give one of them a right tip round here, and I'll... You burp, that was me! <laughs> <laughs> well, not on you, on the bus, look. Oh, charming. Oh, my God, look, somebody's put the boot in right where it shows and all. And somebody put the boot in me where it don't show. <laughs> oh, listen to them kids rampaging around the depot. Oh, come on, yeah, get them on the bus out of it. Now, shut up, you kids, shut up. Be quiet. Come on, here. Butler, what? why didn't you give my little nephew a balloon? You did that on purpose, didn't you, cos it was my nephew. Oh. I didn't give him, they took him. Well, you should have saved him one. Well, all right, I'll see he gets a present then. Yeah, well, mind you do. Get one off him. Go on. All right, Sonny, I'll try and find you a nice balloon. I don't want a balloon. That's kid stuff. I bought along St. Louis. Here, he dropped it. Here, Sam. What? Look. Have a look at this, mate. Gorgeous girlies. <laughs> no wonder he wasn't interested in our balloons. <laughs> <laughs> He's more interested in hers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to see this, mate? Yeah? <laughs> He's put a moustache on the pet of the month. <laughs> well, that's probably because he didn't like the look of her face. He ain't put it on her face, he's put it on her chest. <laughs> Oh, kids today, mate. Yeah. Hey, fancy that. Hiding this thing behind his comic. You know something? I never did anything like that when I was a kid, did you? No, no. <laughs> I used to hide mine behind my hymn book. <laughs> <laughs> well, the vicar used to be dead chuffed to see me praying. Mind you, he didn't know what I was praying for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better give it him back then. Yeah. Where is he? Come on. Oi, Harold. Hey, what's Come here. Harold, here. Here, I've got a present for you. Listen. Here, take it. Look, don't let your uncle see you with it, otherwise he'll do his nut. What are you giving that boy? Show what? me that here. What? Now, wait a minute. <laughs> How dare you, Butler? This is a... Oh, you filthy beast, you! What did beast! You give it to him, he brought it with him! I heard you telling him just now to hide it from me. You're teaching him to be deceitful and all. Yeah, no, no, it's easy. I didn't it, Jack. He did call it, it did. Oh, what a despicable thing to say. Fancy blame it on a poor, innocent child like that. He wouldn't read a thing like that, would you, Harold? Oh, no, Uncle. I've got my comments. Yes, well, run along then, lovey. But... Oh, you two lecherous layabouts. You're not fit to be in charge of children. Yes, 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 I tell you, he's a lying little basket. That, I've known that boy since he was a baby. He's been truthful. Now, listen, are you going to believe him or me? Him? That boy wouldn't do anything I wouldn't do. I found that out. There's nothing wrong with that boy. Nothing wrong with him. There must be if he's your nephew. Yeah. Hey, listen now, look, come on, I'm not having these kids walking about the place. Where are the adults in charge of these oh, children? Oh, here, here they come. But, Mum, come on, thank God for that. Hurry up, these kids are getting a bit restless, you know. We had to wait, we had to wait for Olive. You know what she's like when she gets on a bus? She had to take her travel sick pills. I feel sick. You talking about you ain't got on the bus yet? It ain't the sick pills doing you anything? Yeah, they're making her feel sick. Oh. <laughs> Come on, an empty stomach. Your stomach is never empty. <laughs> now, you understand this is a new bus. We don't want any trouble. We had a lot of damage done in the past. Don't worry, Inspector. I'll look after the little kiddies. Listen, Blake, if we can handle a football mob, we can handle a load of blinking kids. Besides, what can they do to a bus? Give me that funnel. You got the sugar? Yeah. What's it going to do? Is it going to make it blow up? Well, it might if we're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on,
you want to do? What? Take you back to the depot. <laughs> look, look at that, the kids are going raving mad. So they go raving mad. Get back and tell him it's gone wrong and we're going back to the depot. Mate. I don't know. You just don't know how to handle kids, do you? You've got to talk to them as adults, treat them as grown ups. Step out of it, I'll show you how to do it. Right now, boys and girls, what I want to say to you is this. Now, shut up a minute. Will you be quiet? That's it. Now, stop drinking that milk up there while I'm talking to you. Right now, then. The engine's gone up the spout, and we've got to go back to the depot, right? Now, get back inside. Come on, quick. Hurry up. Come on, move, move. That's good, boys. Good girl. That's it. There's a good boy. Where are you a girl? Oh, right in here. <laughs> did you see that? No, did you see that? There's nothing to it, mate. It's dead easy. <laughs> oh, that's how you do it, is it? <laughs> So I'm having you for this battle. Don't worry about that, mate. I'm no, having you. Don't get yourself excited. Look, I'll show you. Oh, no. <laughs> What's that then? That's not it, is it? No, actually, it's a French horn. <laughs> Jack, give him a tune. What do I do? Sack or blow? <laughs> <laughs> Will you two stop clowning and get off there? Now, how did this happen? I'll have to make out a full report about this. Hey, you know, mate, it? my only oh. wants to be sick. Come on, get her off the bus. It's a new bus. <laughs> such rot. I know my biology. You might know your biology, son. You certainly don't know Olive. <laughs> oh, well, it was all them fumes coming up through the floorboards. I mean, that can be very dangerous to a human being. Well, in that case, you'll be all right, love. <laughs> Mum, you shouldn't insult me when I'm not right. Well, if I don't do it when you're not right, I'll never do it. Well, it's no right to be nasty. Come on, love. Get your nice bit of fresh air. Come on. Well, what are you waiting oh. for? Come on, Butler, get some maintenance just, on that just, bus. Just, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. What are you going to do about the kids? Uh, tell them to go and wait in the canteen, out of it. I uh, don't think they're going to like that. Uh, why don't you tell them? <laughs> well, just go and explain it to them. Yeah? Treat them like little adults. Use a modicum of intelligence. <laughs> it always works, you know. <laughs> oh, how little you know, children. It's a love it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it is. We've got a special little treat for you. You're going to be taken into a real busman's canteen. <laughs> <laughs> you take them in the canteen. <laughs> <laughs> we want the bus. We want the bus. We want the bus. We want the bus. <laughs> Set myself now. Yeah. It's all your fault, this is Butler. You should keep them quiet. What are you talking about? What am I supposed to do? Well, do something, entertain them, anything. I'm not employed to entertain kids. My uncle still can entertain. Come on, give us some of your impressions. Impressions? Hell, oh, come on, the kids want you to entertain them. No, boy. no, I got my work to do, boy. Oh, please, Uncle Sue, I told all the boys in the gang about your bird impressions. <laughs> oh, this we got to hear this, Blake. Oh, yeah, Blake, you can't yeah. let the kids down here. <laughs> kids, do you want to hear Uncle Cyril do his bird impressions? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm sure they don't want to hear me. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, very well then. Uh, uh, just one then, all right. Yeah. <laughs> the canary. <laughs> <laughs> That's sensational, isn't it? <laughs> now, that is so lifelike. <laughs> you really think so? Yeah. Do you know what? If we didn't know, we thought you'd got a bird in your moustache. <laughs> you trying to be funny, are you? No, no, honestly, Blake, honestly. It's absolutely marvellous. Got any more? <laughs> Actually, the mating call of the black-headed gull. Oh, that's <laughs> my <laughs> Very good, very good. Hey! We'll have a, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have an encore of that one. Yeah. Uh, you like that one? Yeah, yeah. 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 Go on, go on, do it again. It's my favourite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was happening? Congratulations, Blakey, you clicked. I hope you two will be very happy. <laughs> to be the authentic making call of the flat-headed gull. <laughs> you, you two even dance wouldn't know that, would you? I'm only doing this to entertain the kiddies. Well, you do it if I'm blooming clever. This gives us strength. Yes, it is strength. You must be joking. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? These kids today. Fancy asking Eileen to strip. Don't stand a chance. I've been trying for weeks. I can't stand any more of this. I tell you what I'll do. What? I'll do that number that I did at the Christmas booze up. Oh blimey, not that load of old rubbish. What are you talking about? It paralysed them. Listen, mate, they was paralysed before we came on. <laughs> well, I've got to do something. Well, look, it'll take five minutes to get ready. How are you going to keep them quiet in the meantime? I'll give them some ice cream or something. Look, they've had three lots already. Plus sausages, chips, baked beans, and more chips. If we give them anything else, they'll be sick. Sick? Well, if they're sick, they're not shouting, are they? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Eileen, darling, listen there. Uh, I want you to do me a favour, will you? I've uh, come with me for a minute. <laughs> The bus will be ready in a minute. Now, listen, in the meantime, one of our clippers is going to entertain you. Now, I want you all to give a big hand to Clara, the queen of the clippies. <laughs> well, I didn't think it was Twiggy. <laughs> Uh, you're going to do your little song, then. Of course I am, Jackie, darling. I'll give you a hand up. I'll give you a hand up. Here you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jackie's mother and girls. Yeah. Winnie, darling, yeah. will you play for me, darling? You know, the one I did at the booze up at Christmas time? Oh, yes. They're in a clippy number, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> just give me a number check, love. I must have got enough lipstick on. Oh, <laughs> and he's marvellous. He's just like a real girl. <laughs> Oh, Mum, no real girl looks as awful as that. Some of them do. <laughs> oh, I'm ready, darling. I'm ready now, darling. <laughs> I'm Clara the Clippy. I have to be nippy, cos, you see, I'm so full up on top. <laughs> the drivers all love me. They say I'm so cunty, and I never, never ask them to stop. <laughs> A dirty old chap tried some tickle and slap, and I asked for some strange information. He said, can a shilling a day, can I go all the way? I said, get off, I'm not your destination. <laughs> Tell us something, a little story that happened to me very, very funny it was, you see. Now, this little boy oh, got onto the, the, the bus. <laughs> I got off of the bus like this, you see. Up comes this little fella, walking up behind me up the stairs of this bus. When I got on top of the bus, you see, what happened when I got on top of the bus? This little boy was following me up the stairs. What? I've I've gone. I finished this story. Oh, really? I've gone. Oh. Oh, well, I'll get off then. Come on. Yeah. You better get out of that clobber, mate. They haven't agreed to women drivers yet. <laughs> Thank God for that, darling. Your shoes are killing me, dear. Go on, Who sat in? I've uh, never seen that clip here before. Uh, no, no, she's new. Oh, I see. Uh, well, that accounts for why she's just walked in the... <laughs> she's just gone in the gym. <laughs> hey, miss! I missed! Hey, hey, come out of there, come on. Well, I didn't know, you see, I was walking and I didn't know how to stop. Wait, you, wait. 
his father. You call Ravy mad, have you? Well, I always knew he was a bit peculiar, but I mean, he's gone kinky as well now. <laughs> it's mixing with all these clippies, isn't it? Oh, don't be daft. Did it for a bit of fun? A bit of fun? <laughs> I should try telling that to the magistrate if I were you. Yes, he just did it to entertain the kids, didn't he? Entertain the kids? What do you think you are, the busman's Danny LaRue or something? Oh, Come on, get that one. You're tra Look at it. It's well, I've got to get it's it off, haven't I? Where'd you get that skirt from, anyway? Oh, I got it off of uh, Eileen. Eh? <laughs> What's she walking about in there? Her knickers, what do you think? <laughs> she was going off duty, so she changed and I borrowed it, that's all. I'll just take it off now. Oh, blimey, the zip's stuck. Here, Jack, give us a hand with this. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to shut the eyes, though. I'm oh. only used to doing it in the dark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of your, um, get rid of these. <laughs> what did you do that for? Well, I didn't know it was full of air, did I? What are you expecting to be full of, then? That bus is waiting out there. Get out there and get it out. Come right, on. I'll get rid of this one, then. Get rid of it. What's the matter with it? You broke me pencil now, look. Well, I'll give it a good jab. <laughs> I've got a slow puncher, Jack. <laughs> Will you get that bus out and get them kids out? If we was entertaining the kids, mate, that's all we were doing. It's your fault. I've got to get changed. Let's change the kids you chuck about on the back. Don't take those kids out of this. We're not going to drive right now, are you? What, what? Take a look in the mirror. <laughs> oh, blimey. <laughs> Still got my eyelashes on, haven't I? <laughs> Can I shoot me, look? Take them off. You're infringing the highway code. They're cutting down your visibility. <laughs> All right, hang on. Oh! <laughs> Oh, rather do not make your eyes water. Go, oh. go. Oh. Hey, old Blake, here's a present for you. Ooh, what am I supposed to do with these? Then? Well, I must admit that's a very ticklish question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.